Hey guys, welcome back, it's Jen, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make coconut American crusting buttercream. It's so good paired with chocolate and so refreshing paired with pineapple and cherries. I really love American crusting buttercream because it crusts over just the very outer layer, nothing you can taste, but enough where your cake is dry to the touch, which makes it really easy to decorate and easy to fix up. It also makes it harder to accidentally nick up, which is great. It keeps its structure really well for piping. It's really yummy frosting and I'm not one to like all frostings. Here's a picture of the tools you're gonna need and then a couple ingredients that you may not have in your kitchen. The meringue powder you can get at Michael's Craft Store or uh, at some grocery stores. The high ratio shortening, also called cake and icing shortening, I got on Amazon. You could also use Crisco but it's not gonna be as smooth. We use butter and shortening in this recipe because even though we love butter, um, it doesn't hold its shape very well, so we kinda have the best of both worlds. We use the shortening to hold its shape and then we still get that flavor of butter. Okay, so first we're gonna cream the shortening and butter on the lowest speed. Then go ahead and add the milk on low, just until well combined. Then you're gonna wanna slowly add the meringue powder and confectioner sugar, uh, like a cup at a time, definitely on the lowest speed. And really make sure to scrape your bowl often. And then go ahead and add the salt, and then we're gonna increase the speed to medium, so I do four to be safe because we do not want to go higher than medium or it's going to create air bubbles and it'll be impossible to smooth out. Beat this until it's fluffy and light in color. And you can add your extracts now and beat it on medium speed just a little bit till it's well combined and then you can go ahead and taste it and see if you'd like to add more. And then when I think it's ready I like to check it with my spatula and just make sure that it's smoothing well and I don't see a lot of air bubbles. If you do have that, try mixing it more, but never more than medium. Or you can add a little extra milk if you feel like that's gonna help you smooth it out better. I would start with just a half a teaspoon of milk and see what that does. I find the frosting to be really bright white, but if for any reason you want it even more white, you can just add the teeniest amount of violet icing color on a toothpick and this will brighten it up. I like to take a little bit of frosting out before I add the color because if I see any change in the color, I stop there. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with violet colored frosting. So the reason this works and makes it brighter white is because we have a little bit of yellow from the butter and Violet is the opposite of yellow on the color wheel, so it cancels it out and makes a brighter white. You can store this in an airtight container for two days at room temperature, or two weeks in the refrigerator, or three months in the freezer. If you're gonna frost it right away, put a damp cloth over it because it is a crusting buttercream, that'll keep it from crusting over. If you don't use it right away, make sure you remix it at medium speed until it's fluffy and light in color again. If you store it in the refrigerator or freezer, let it sit out and warm to room temperature and then remix it on medium until light in color and fluffy. If this is your first time frosting a cake, you can check out my how to frost a cake tutorial. I have lots of great tips and tricks. Half of the fat in this frosting is butter, so after you frost your cake, you're gonna wanna leave it in the refrigerator until just before you have to take it out um, to be able to serve it at room temperature. It's just gonna look the best that way, but taste the best at room temperature. So that is it. Now you know how to make coconut American crusting buttercream. If you'd like to learn more recipes, how to decorate your cakes and sweets, and all other types of fun baking stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and can't wait to see you next time. 